Okay, so this is a book review for Matthew Perry's new Matthew Perry's biography. Memoir. Memoir. Yes. Sounds very He said he's not dead yet. So it's not a biography. <laughs> it's not dead yet. Well, that's good. So this is him giving you a look at that holding up. So this is here at the library. And it's Friends, Lovers, and Big Terrible Thing. The Big Terrible Thing is his, the name of his memoir. Yes. The Big Terrible Thing was his drug addiction. Okay. So you read it, and you told me you couldn't put it down. Couldn't put it down. I'm a fan of biographies, memoirs. I love true stories. Mm-hmm. It was a great read. So so what made it good? Um, Just, I guess what made it good for me is I just, I guess I just love a good hard luck story that and turns into. So that's what this is. Yeah. So he breaks down, does it start like from birth moving forward? and? It breaks, well, it starts with um, the catastrophe that he's had due to his drug addiction. Okay. So, which is horrible. Pretty graphic. Horrible thing. It's graphic, and I'm sure it's sugar coated quite a bit. Okay. But yeah. Um, so he's ju- he's just a, his body is shutting down after. Yes. And what was his? Uh, Thirty years of drug use. What is his drug of choice, or that he talks about the most, or? Uh, Vicodin. Okay. Opioids. Okay, which. Alcohol. Wow. Yep. Okay. He was taking fifty-five Vicodin a day. <laughs> I, 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 I can't even Every process that. Yeah. Yes, I know. I couldn't, I couldn't take 55 Tic Tacs a day, let I alone I, I would be complaining about my teeth hurting or something like that. So I, I couldn't imagine any. He just had it all, and there was nowhere to go, and he didn't have anything else to do, and he was addicted to. Too much money and time. Too much money and time, but I think he was addicted to uh, the hustle and bustle of rehabs, doctors, nurses, someone caring for him. Taken you, care of you it. mentioned that that it, you, he makes a point of saying how he was cared for and yes. that he really loved that. Yes, he loved it. Yeah, that's I mean, all I can say about it is he just loved it. <laughs> well, why didn't he just spend a million dollars? Because at one time, when he, when they were getting a million dollars an episode once upon a time for Friends, I think wasn't it? Wasn't that was a big deal? Was that was their contract? Was they were all getting a million yes, an episode? He's still making a lot of bank off of Friends. Yeah, because that's never going to be off the air. Yeah, I mean. Mayberry is still on the air, and that's sixty some years. So yes. that's so. This is no, this is not going to go away anytime soon. No. Episodes of Friends. Did you watch Friends then back I in the day? I did not watch Friends. You did not watch Friends. I've watched a lot of his movies, but I didn't watch Friends. Okay, so what what is your favorite movie of his? I don't have a favorite movie of his. What was it? What was the one with him and Bruce Willis? Whole Nine Yards was that it? And oh then, yeah, I forgot about that. And nine then yards. they made a, he talks about that. They a make a sequel Look, to that. Yeah, mm-hmm. the sequel was a flop. Okay, but the Whole Nine Yards is pretty good. Yeah, it was a good movie. It's a good movie at the time. Yeah. There's that um, contrast, the two unlikable people between you know between his role and Bruce Willis's role and stuff like that. Yeah. I wouldn't say buddy, but so okay. So you said you got into reading. You really enjoyed reading it. Um, is he a pretty good author then? Yeah, I or, think so. Yeah, or his ghost, or his ghost writer is pretty good. He's a good storyteller. <laughs> he's a good yeah. storyteller. Yeah. Where did he grow up? He grew up in California. Oh. Yes. He moved to California when he was 15. Okay. And his dad was John Perry, which was the Old Spice guy. Do you remember Old Spice mm-hmm. guy? Mm-hmm. That mm-hmm. was his dad, John Perry. So his dad was an actor, so he got into acting. And he learned, um, he landed his first break at 17. You could have said to me his dad was Joe Perry from Aerosmith. And I'd be like, oh, really? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I wouldn't have known any better. Admiral Perry. Oh, wow. So, yeah. Okay. So, so he goes, so growing up in California, which. Maybe that's not healthy to begin with. No. It wasn't so it's only a whole state. It wasn't healthy for him. It wasn't no. healthy for him. Yeah. So growing up in SoCal and stuff like that. And then, um, so is there anything that, um, well, what didn't you know when you read and you learned and walked away or anything that changed your perception or? I didn't know anything about him until I read So you came in with an open mind. Yes. You hadn't even watched Friends. You were like just ready to go on this. <laughs> I just knew I needed to read his story. And, yeah. it, and you said it was great. Yeah. Hmm. A lot of things I won't be doing. Vicodin's one of them. 55 Vicodin, I am going to stay away from that. <laughs> that does not sound like a good way to live whatsoever. Really? So what ultimately made him decide to clean up? His colon burst. Okay, well. And he had a 2% chance of surviving, and he was in the hospital for five months. That is a... And he came straight home and called his drug dealer. <laughs> God. Because <laughs> he's like, hey, I have five months, I'm clean. <laughs> I know, right? He had the perfect excuse. Who, I'm in pain. who would think that reading this would be similar to like Keith Richards' autobiography when he was writing about, you know, 
giving I up. I would probably gi- think. Oh, it's a, it's, it's a, a gr- very similar. It's a great yeah. read because he talks yeah. about giving up drugs and he talks uh-huh. about why why people died is because they would have a five month rehab and then they'd go back to where at their highest peak and then they you know their bodies yeah. would shut down and stuff like that. Yeah. So it's a lot about kind of. Is, I mean, is it a lot about the the drugs? I know he's uh, he's also kind of his different comments about other celebrities and dating. He gets into that a little bit. Yeah, he touches on that a little bit, but it's really about his addiction okay. and overcoming his addiction. And he didn't have those relationships because of his addiction. Okay. So does he get into then, like, the, any of the positive parts of his celebrity or what, you know, his thoughts on being on Friends, or is he kind of like, this is what I needed to get over and this is what the focus of the story? Um, you know what? There's not a lot of positives in there. Okay. He says that um, he would never choose the fame and the fortune over a normal life, considering all the problems it caused him there you go yeah and matthew perry is jealous of you and i yeah he is and that's the one of the reasons he liked the rehabs is because those people were not celebrities and he identified with them (laughs) and yeah he just liked hanging out with them they were normal people He's throwing a lot of things here. I can't even really kind of wrap my little mind around. So yeah. this is between the oh, bucket and yeah. yes. So you it's need a, to read it. People need to read it. Yeah. It's a great read. And then um, and uh, so uh, come to the library, get yourself on hold because I think a lot of people uh, I think there's already a queue for that, which is yes. good. We can, we can order more copies too. But um, so you'd recommend it. Good read. Oh, yeah, great read. Just a little a little dark. 